Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix packet loss on your internet. Now, as you may have seen my last video, I used to have the worst packet loss ever. And if you haven't seen it and you wanna see how bad it was, please go ahead and ch check this video up here. So you probably don't know, but I've had packet loss on my internet for eight years and I had to deal with so much stuff trying to get it fixed and I finally figured out the best way to get it fixed now if you're having internet issues you're probably going to like be telling yourself maybe it's my equipment maybe it's something on my end and that is something you should debug you should try to figure out if it is on your end. Once you verify the packet loss is not on your end, you checked all the wires, you know it's not your router because it's a good router, you know it's not a modem, it's a good modem. I actually replaced all that stuff to make sure it wasn't on my end. I changed all the wires and was still getting packet loss. So I knew it was on the internet service provider's end, which was Cox Communications in my on my side. But this is the hard part. Step two, once you diagnose, step one's diagnosing that it's on the internet service provider and not on your end. Now the hard part, step two, is you gotta convince them that it is their fault and not yours. And how you do this is you gotta get a resident tech to come out. It's, that part is pretty easy. Let me, let me pull up the resident tech. This is the resident tech. This is what he looks like. They come to your house, you call, you call your internet service provider, tell them you have pocket loss, and they said they're gonna send somebody out to check it out. I've had probably eight of these, at least eight of these come out. And what they do, if you don't do the right procedure, they will test the line at the box, and then they will test it in your house. And most of the time they won't find packet loss until, unless you tell them the best way to do it and what you want to tell them is you want to tell them to do a doc sys test d o c s i s tell them to do a doc sys test on your neighborhood box that box in your neighborhood right here and make sure they do it for at least tell them to do it for at least 15 minutes what my the ones that didn't find it would run it for a minute and they wouldn't see packet loss. You want to um, tell them to do a DOCSIS test and this is what it looks like. Sorry, sorry about the blurriness, but I was trying to take a picture of it in the sun because this was on the guy's equipment. When they do a DOCSIS test for 15 minutes and if they do it for like 10 to 15 minutes, you should see t about 10,000 plus packets sent. That's what you want to make sure when they do the test make sure they show this to you and show you that they sent at least 10,000 packets and as you can see on my internet this is when they did it when my internet was bad 10,000 packets sent and it shows a 5.8 percent loss that is super high very high packet loss like if you watch that video of me playing, I'm just lagging all over the place. I can't even play any kind of games. So once you verify, like this is this, like I said, this is the hard part. You have to get the resident techs to run this test for 10 minutes. And if you don't tell them to, they will run it for just one minute, see that it's not there, and uh, there, there's nothing wrong, man. And then they leave and sometimes they'll even charge you if they come out and they don't find anything wrong they'll try to charge you 75 bucks then you got to call them to tell them hey i still have issues and you got to argue that that price point so this took me eight years to get i'm just letting you guys if you do not make a resident tech find this it will take you forever they won't fix it unless you prove it so once you prove this, hopefully step three will be fast, but it could take a while. Step three is to then make sure you're getting a node split scheduled or fiber optic internet scheduled. 
Now, if you're the only one complaining about your internet in your neighborhood, they're probably not gonna, they're probably not gonna schedule a node split. They weren't going to fix it with just me complaining. I had to go to my neighbors and tell them to complain as well. Um, and I asked them if they had issues. And they're like, oh yeah, I do actually have issues. And then I'm like, can you please complain to your ISP and tell them you have packet loss? If we all complain, they'll schedule something. And that's that's what I did. I also went on this, um, there's this app called Nextdoor where it's like all your neighbors can use it. If you're in a neighborhood that uses the app, it's awesome. You can just post on your Nextdoor app and say, hey guys, we're having mad internet problems right now. Can we please all just complain to the ISP in our neighborhood, whether it's Cox Communications, Comcast, Spectrum, whoever you have where you have packet loss, make all your neighbors complain if they're not fixing it after you prove there's packet loss on your line. And if they aren't scheduling a node split or saying they're gonna get fiber optic internet, you gotta, complain to the FCC you gotta some you gotta report your ISP to the FCC it's super easy too um, where's the link for this I'm gonna put the links for these in the description of this video so you come you go to this site consumer complaint FCC file a complaint this is gonna be your internet and you just fill out this form. It takes like five minutes. You just put your email address subject and you just type as much information you can, can. Make sure if you took a screenshot of your packet loss, you attach that file to the FCC complaint. Make sure you say, I've proven that my internet sucks. A resident tech came out, shows there's packet loss and my internet service provider is not fixing my internet. Complain. If you do this, your internet service provider will have 30 days to contact you. Someone from corporate from your internet service provider will contact you and they will try to work it out with you. It, after I did this, it took probably three months before I got the internet upgraded to fiber optics. And the person I was in contact with from corporate was super nice. She actually gave me 50% discount every month until my issue was fixed going forward. Uh, and they'll usually contact you about every two weeks to see how it's going and you can just give them an update saying hey yeah, it's still broken my internet still is bad and then she'll say oh well we have the node split scheduled for this date and we have or we have the fiber optic scheduled for this date node splits should be fast if they're scheduled on node splits so you shouldn't have to contact corporate too long they should fix that pretty fast um, and then once you get a node split done or you get upgraded to fiber optic, your internet should be good and you shouldn't have any more internet problems. You just beat a big company and you can now enjoy your internet. Hopefully it doesn't take you eight years like it took me to get this fixing. So let's beat these big corporate internet service providers or monopolies. You, this is what you got to do in America to beat these companies. Over in South Korea, they don't have monopolies. They have internet competing with each other. So they just, everyone has great internet because you can switch to a different one if one sucks. In America, we don't have that opportunity. So this is what we got to do. And hopefully um, you guys get your internet fixed.